This video delves into a haunting narrative that unfolded in England back in 2011, revolving around the tragic fate of 17-year-old Emily Longley. Overflowing with hope and aspirations for a promising future, Emily's dreams were abruptly shattered, leaving behind a profound impact not just due to the loss of a young life, but also because of the tumultuous events that transpired in its aftermath. Emily Longley was born in England in 1994 to Mark and Caroline Longley, her arrival filling their home with joy. Two years later, the Longley family welcomed another addition, Emily's younger sister, Hannah. Their childhood was marked by affection and closeness in a nurturing family environment. However, when Emily was nine and Hannah seven, the family embarked on a new chapter, relocating to New Zealand, with Auckland becoming their new home. Yet, Emily's integration into the New Zealand lifestyle led her astray, mingling with a crowd that concerned her middle-class parents. Fearing for her well-being, they made the difficult decision to send her back to the UK to live with her grandparents, hoping for a fresh start. In 2010, Emily ventured to England to pursue her studies at Brockenhurst College, harboring dreams of attaining a business degree and venturing into the world of modeling. Settling in Bournemouth, adjacent to Poole in Dorset County, she began her new life amidst the picturesque English Channel coast. Meanwhile, her sister Hannah remained in New Zealand, and her parents, Mark and Caroline, navigated their own paths post-divorce, though maintaining an amicable relationship. Emily's striking beauty and vivacious personality drew attention, catching the eye of 20-year-old Elliot Turner, who would soon become a significant figure in her life. Elliot, the son of a wealthy jeweler, exuded confidence and charm, his affluent lifestyle and social standing making him a notable figure in Bournemouth's social scene. Their initial encounters blossomed into a romantic entanglement, though Emily harbored reservations about the seriousness of their relationship due to their age difference. Despite her hesitations, Emily found herself drawn to Elliot's magnetic presence. In April 2011, Emily embarked on a journey back to New Zealand to reunite with her family after a prolonged absence. The joyous reunion with her father Mark was a testament to their close bond, with Emily expressing how much she missed him. During her stay, Emily regaled her family with tales of her college adventures and modeling aspirations, alongside mentioning her relationship with Elliot. However, despite the outward appearances of happiness, Emily harbored doubts about the longevity of her relationship with Elliot, contemplating a breakup upon her return to England. Emily's departure from New Zealand was marked by promises of a swift return, with plans to witness the Rugby World Cup matches in a few months' time. However, little did her family know that this farewell would be their last encounter with Emily, forever altering the course of their lives. Elliot's possessive and controlling nature soon reared its ugly head, escalating into volatile arguments and instances of verbal abuse. Emily, realizing the toxicity of their relationship, made the difficult decision to end things. However, Elliot's obsession with her only intensified, leading to a fateful confrontation that would culminate in tragedy. On the evening of May 6, 2011, a heated altercation unfolded between Emily and Elliot at a nightclub, fueled by Elliot's jealousy over Emily's interactions with other men. Emily, distressed by Elliot's behavior, attempted to leave, but Elliot's persistence coerced her into accompanying him back to his home. The events that unfolded within the confines of Elliot's residence remain shrouded in mystery, with only fragments of information pieced together from eyewitness testimonies and subsequent investigations. What transpired that night would forever alter the lives of those involved, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. The morning after the altercation, Anita Turner, Elliot's mother, made a chilling call to emergency services, reporting Emily's unresponsiveness. Little did she know that her actions would unravel a web of deceit and betrayal, exposing the harrowing truth behind Emily's untimely demise. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away in New Zealand, Mark Longley, Emily's father, received a heart-wrenching phone call in the early hours of the morning, forever shattering his world. 
The news of Emily's death sent shockwaves through the Longley family, leaving them grappling with disbelief and grief. As authorities launched an investigation into Emily's death, suspicions began to mount surrounding Elliot and his family's involvement. The discovery of incriminating evidence and chilling revelations from eyewitnesses painted a damning picture implicating Elliot in Emily's demise. What unfolded in the subsequent trial was a harrowing tale of manipulation, deception, and ultimately, justice served. Elliot's facade of arrogance crumbled under the weight of undeniable evidence, leading to his conviction and sentencing for Emily's murder. However, Elliot was not the sole perpetrator in this tragedy. His parents, Anita and Lee Turner, played a complicit role in aiding their son's evasion of justice, facing their own reckoning in the eyes of the law. The harrowing details of Emily's fate served as a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the depths of human depravity. Despite the passage of time, the scars left behind by Emily's untimely death continue to linger, a painful reminder of a life cut short and the enduring quest for closure and justice. As the Longley family grapples with the aftermath of their loss, they find solace in the memories of a daughter and sister, whose light continues to shine brightly in their hearts. The legacy of Emily Longley serves as a poignant reminder of the need for vigilance against the perils of toxic relationships and the importance of standing up against injustice. In her memory, may we strive to create a world where such senseless tragedies are never again allowed to occur.